the past we talked a lot about Lamplighter. They make a lot of audio books and they print old books that went out of print years ago. And we're actually only five minutes from where they are. And so we're gonna swing by there and see if anybody's there. Like I can give you a tour real quick. There's just a few of the interns here. Uh, sure, yeah, that'd be awesome. Oh, yeah, if, if it's you. unlocked, I'm right. check real quick. Okay. But we can go on. Okay, so there, he's gonna give us a quick tour, which is really fun. Yeah. Hey guys, so we are here with Kyle. We're in the bindery of Lamplighter Ministries where they bind all their books. We've got one of our cutters here. Wow. It's one of the presses we use for uh, the covers and it's okay. like a, I think it's a 10 ton press wow. that we use to yep a 10 ton press to uh, stamp the books so it takes so they literally the pressure <laughs> okay so when you guys print a book mm -hmm. it gets printed on pages and then bound right mm -hmm. okay. yeah we, we print them on the pages we put the um, paper on there to yeah. stick it to the cover this is an unfinished cover okay but we have the cardboard pieces wow um, or the stock board and then and then the do you guys covers. do the stamping here mm -hmm. too the stamping Sweet. the gilding um, all of that awesome. Wow, this is cool. Yeah. Um, I don't know the whole history, but I know it was founded in the mid 1800s. The office that we have across the way is was the rectory for it. <laughs> it was. A, it's a, so you guys see the church, mm -hmm. see the stained glass. Where is our studio? Where is our soundproof room where we do our recording? Can anybody yeah, tell me where it is? In there. In the organ. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's my favorite place. Does somebody want to ring the bell to let us in? Yep, just use the hammer and... Sure, if the bell is somewhere around. <laughs> and uh, wow. mind the duck. So it is is it, this is where they would have had all the organ stuff in the here? Like most of what the organ had, all the pipes, yeah. um, everything was here. A little bit of it is downstairs, but I'm not going to wow. take you down there. The wow. So Whoa. the Hidden Hand is your newest one that's mm -hmm. being released yes. this it's coming month? On pre it's on pre-release. No, okay. it's actually, we've, we're, let's see, we have eight of 14 episodes mostly done with uh -huh. the, uh, the, sorry, the audio editing, yeah. the sound design. We need John Campbell's music tracks. Yeah. yeah. yeah this so one. get your pre-order <laughs> for Hidden Hand. Is that the name it's, of it? Yes. Yeah, it's... Hidden Hand and pre-order for the book and the audio book. Well, the, yeah. the, the book is out. The Hidden Hand is... Okay, so favorite. the book is out. My favorite is by the same author. My favorite book of all uh -huh. time is Ishmael uh -huh. and it's... Ishmael. Uh, companion self-raised. Okay, I saw that. I favorite. saw that back there. Yeah. yeah that so you guys are actually hiring the actors. Mm -hmm. They come here. We were, record everything. The interns were part of the process. Uh, mm -hmm. Not quite beginning to end, but since yeah. things were put off and everything was mixed up, yes, we had to do. We did the auditions. We didn't. I mean, we didn't cast officially, but we we narrowed it down quite a bit. We brought the like top ten-ish to the attention of Dr. Hamby, who was the producer, and right. Kathy, and um, some of the others that are involved. And, cool. So uh, whose idea was this to put the studio in here? It may have been Peter's. Uh, uh, Peter is yeah. our resident technician. Does, okay. Yeah. Does well, it's an awesome here, idea. there, yeah. everything. I mean, it really is. Is. Um, so this door opens up so people can see in and out, right? Uh, there. Got there. That's cool. Really neat. Yeah, this 
place is like awesome. Wow, that's really There's actually a book that my great grandmother had given my mom and it was out an out of print book, like over a hundred years old. And my mom actually sent it to Lamplighter and they published it. And it's called uh, Resolute in the Face of Persecution. It's on their website and I was trying to find it here, but I haven't been able to find it yet. The friends of Lamplighter was lived here until she died. She was the third generation owner. Oh. It's old, it's dated, it's wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> so look before you go. Splits town. Yeah. It's uh So we're just kind of, these are all the ones that we don't have, we're just pick, kind of looking through to see which ones we should get. Shane found the book. All right guys, this is it. Resolute in the face of persecution. And I don't want to like mess up the book here, but if we just open it, you'll see special thanks to Kathy Good. That's my mom and her great-grandmother, Alice Christensen, from whom she received this treasure. Isn't that cool? So if you want to read the book that my mom sent to them, it's called Resolute in the Face of Persecution. Mm -hmm.